Hi, my name is Spirit Man. This is all about to show you you can heal yourself. Now just bear with me, and I'm going to show you what Jesus already had made available for us right now. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9. When you got it, just raise your hand. I got it. Verse 27. Verse 27 says, And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. And yea mean yes, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were open, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Stop there. See that no man or woman know it. Now, this is all about to show you you can heal yourself. Now, it's a lot of us, us out there running around blind, not physically blind, spiritually blind. And that means when you see this text in the Bible talking about blind, spiritually blind, that means understanding. When you have no understanding, you do not see. You don't understand what you hear. You don't understand what you see. So that means you are spiritually blind. Because if you know understanding, in God's eyes, saying, you're blind. And we call it on the world, in the earth, saying, third eye. You know, so listen to this very well. You can heal yourself from being spiritual blind. Mm -hmm. You can heal yourself. And how do you heal yourself? First of all, you have all this good in you, but you don't know how to utilize it. And this, how you can heal yourself, just listen to this. In that area, pay attention. In the name of Jesus, I take my authority I speak to blindness. I command it to go. I command my understanding to be completely free of it and now I am seeing in the name of Jesus. Remember, you got to come in the name of Jesus and lead out of the name of Jesus. And so therefore, right now, when you, when you walk in that, you're removing something and you're removing blindness and you placing understanding. And now, when you place understanding, it brings forth seeing. See? And we ain't talking about physical eyes seeing. That means now you can see what God said in the Bible, let who have eyes see what the Spirit of the Lord does. And so what do you mean, let who have eyes to be understanding? 
He's talking about the understanding. A lot of us are out here walking around not understanding nothing in the spiritual realm and we become blind. And that's why we miss out our healing. We miss out our fortune. We miss out of these things because therefore we do not have understanding. We ain't talking about worldly understanding. We talking about spiritually we're all spiritually understanding the things that you understand in the spiritual realm that you can see when the Lord show you things and give you things freely and see things, all this good in you. You cannot see all this good in you if you don't have no understanding of all these good in you. And so therefore, you got to have the understanding. You got to see all this good in you and you got to understand all this good in you. And if you don't have the understanding, then you will be blind. Now, a lot of us out there is walking around in that area sick, spiritual sick. Until you come into an understanding what the Spirit is showing you. Now look at this part right here. We go back to 29 verse, then touch he their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. And see, faith and understanding goes together. You see? Faith and understanding go together. It's, it's, it's according to your faith. It's the same thing saying, according to your understanding, be it unto you. Understanding plays a big part. You see? But if you go back up to verse 28, listen to this part. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him and Jesus said unto them, believe, believe ye that I am able to do this. Believe, believe faith and understanding works together. You understand? Works together because your belief when you believe something, more likely you understand something. You see, because if you believe that you go walk across this street without getting hit by a car, that means you understand how to walk across that street when you see cars is going this way in that direction, different directions, and see what it is. They all work together. They all is a positive word. So a lot of us out there walking in a blind lane, don't have no understanding, don't understand to, to see how they can heal themselves that are already available for you, already in you. But if you don't have no understanding, you don't know how to walk in that authority. You don't know how to, to take your authority and cast out or drive out these devils. And these devils are negative words, see? But by you being blind, then you perish in a lack of knowledge don't understand how to, to remove them and how to place the positive words to really sprout like a flower and show up in every area of your life. Now listen to this part right here. 30 verse, and their eyes were open. Now I'm going to show you, and their understanding was open. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. He, here's what he said, See that no man or woman know it. Why did he say that? Let's go down to verse 31. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all the, that country. Look what he did. 32. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man process with a devil. Now listen, now we're on another level and this is going on. A lot of people, spiritual people out there is in this category, dumb. Now don't get me wrong. We're talking about dumb in the spiritual form as really saying here, uh, dumb because that, that spirit allow a negative word devil get in and keep his mouth shut and not open his mouth and knowing that he have the power and authority to cast devils out, but he is sitting like this. He just sitting like this. Oh, pain getting them in them. And uh, uh, what else? What else? Uh, he have disease. He uh, he have um, arthritis in his knees. See, but he's dumb. He's dumb. 
because dumb representing God eyes saying that if you sit there and you know, if you do, you do, if you do know you have the power, if you don't know, that's, that's a different reason. But if you do know you have the power and authority to cast out that pain or the arthritis in your knee, you open your mouth. You ain't gonna sit there like this. You're sitting there just like this. And you got all that power in you. That's dumb. Not open your mouth and you just let these devils just beat you up. That's a dumb, you know what I'm saying? This is what he's saying. Now listen to this right here now. Number 33. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb speck and the multitudes marvelous, saying it was never so seen in Israel. Look at look what he just cast out. He cast out that devil. And when he cast out that devil, that spiritual being now spec. Because now, see, don't just sit there and just let the devils beat you and your spirit have the power to cast them out. This is how you heal yourself. you got to understand what God is saying. And see, we get caught up on this physical outlook, but it's all about the spiritual in, the inner, inner man, the inner woman, that basically really have the power, and, and, then, and, and all is good in your spiritual man and your spiritual woman. All is good in you. All is good in you. You don't have to walk around here blind, no understanding. You don't have to walk around here be dumb, and, and you just sitting and let all that stuff go on. You have the authority to open your mouth and speak, not to be in the corner and the devil tell you stand over in that corner and you just sit still. No, they know what God's saying. You have the power. But some of us spirits out there, you want to do, whoa, you know, shutting you up. Whoa, it's me. You don't have to do that. You are a spiritual being. You have the power. To tell that negative word. See, a negative word ain't number the word. They was on the creative design to do what it do, but you have the power. Boy, it's so backwards that the spiritual images of God letting words rule them. He puts you over and above words. And I'm going to show you something here. Now, let's read 33 again. And when the devil was cast out the dumb speck and the multitude marveled saying it was never to never so seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said he cast out devils through the prince of the devil. Look what they did. Now they put their mouth on me now because see, I'm doing the things Jesus have done and they put the mouth on me like they did Jesus. They called Jesus devil, a demon. You see what it is now here I am doing the works of my father. What Jesus have done, they call me a devil. But I know, I understand, I ain't a devil. I have the power over devils. <laughs> but I tell you, when God used me to cast out that devil out of that woman and show her that she don't have to have these pains, that woman was set free. She was set free. And you can be set free. All you got to do, like he said, believe that I can do it. That's what he said. Believe. In verse 28, he said, believe ye that I am able to do it. And once you put your spirit and connect yourself to that word, that positive word, believe, that word believe can only do one thing, do exactly it was created and designed by the heavenly father. And I'm telling you something, if you take hold on to that word and you walk and give yourself to that word, you will see, whoa, believe and all it pertain, it will flat like a flower and if all pertain believe will show up and you will see victory. You see? So I learned how to give myself over to these words, the positive word. I'm going to tell you something. Look at you. You show giving yourself over to them negative words and look at your life. You're in pain. You're in sick. You're walking around with AIDS and, 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 and all type of TB and uh, all type of cancers and tumors and all stuff like that. You're giving yourself over to those words. Why you can't give yourself over to these positive words and for you going to be set free and be in health 
and be healed and restored. It's up to you. But me, I'm understanding something. I'm understanding something. And so this is all about you can heal yourself, and it's only for the ones that wants to be healed, but the ones don't want to be healed, stop, turn TV off, go on back on, on the street and do what you've been doing. Because this is only for the ones who believe, the believers. Now, I want to show you something else. We're going to get a little into a negative devils to show you something. A lot of you out there walking in these words I'm naming, and I'm going to show you how to cast them out and walk in and throw yourself into the positive word. Now, listen to this right here. It's a lot of unhappy people out there. Unhappy. Unhappy is a devil. Negative word. And I'm going to show you, if you want to be happy, how to remove unhappy. In the name of Jesus, I take my authority. I speak to unhappy. I command it to go. I command my soul, my mind, my thinking, my imagination, my thoughts, my emotions, my human body, my organs, my systems, and my life and living in every area. Listen, to be completely free of it. And now I am happy. You see? You can be completely free of what? Unhappy. In every area, nothing missing, nothing broken. You understand? If you continue to over and over doing that, and you're going to start seeing some results. You can't, you, you got to continue. You can't make it be a chore. You got to be feeling good doing this. In tune, feeling good and, and joy. And when you're doing all that, and I guarantee you, you're going to see some results. You're going to see some results. You're going to start seeing happiness, happy people, happy places. Happy things. I'm telling you, you can heal yourself. This is all about healing yourself. I tell you, we have the power to do what Jesus already had done 2,000 years ago. Now listen, I want something else I want to show you. God said, let who have eyes see. He also said, faith comes by hearing and hear the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hear the word of God. And see, if your spirit hear the word, and you're going to see the word. Now listen to this right here. Word become a thought. A thought become things. You see? And so therefore, right there, a word become a thought, and a thought become things. Now listen to this right here now. God said in the beginning, let us continue to create man. But he was talking about create man, woman, places, and things, and be fruitful and multiply and plenish the earth. Look at that right there. A word become a thought. A thought become things. Now listen to this right now. So we're going to create, and we're going to be fruitful, and we're going to multiply, and we're going to plenish the earth. A thought become things and the things that you see all on the earth. See what I'm saying? And this is what God is telling us. So therefore, words are very important. God have dealing with words. If you got a, a, a big old wall and you look at all this on your wall, you got all different type of positive words. We, we got negative words over here and positive words over here. And you up there standing up like this, doing this right here. I don't, want, I, I don't want this right here. I want this right here. It's a positive word. Uh, I don't want this right here. I want to place this right here. You know, it's just like one of those things. They got that... Uh, hat tech stuff system and everything and you move in these words and see what it is words are very important if you know how to get into t get in tune to know how to work words you will see a lot of results you will see a lot of results i'm telling you something you will see a lot of results you'll start seeing things that you you do doing these words become what word become a thought and a thought become things you will start saying whoa i want this word and so when you start taking that word now you're thinking on that word it become a thought, a big picture. See what I'm saying? And now you're seeing all these things in that big old picture screen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you take this right here and say, well, I want to be, I want to, I want a healthy body. So I'm going to take this right here. This word right here. I want this right here. This, I want to be a healthy, I want my body to be shaped like this. I want, I want, a, I want a healthy organ. So you take this right here. So you move, we moving 
the negative word, like sickness, out the way. You move it and you place in health and healed. See, you have the power to shape your human body. You have the power to heal and, and restore your organs and your systems and your life and living and your financial and your fortune. You have all this power to really create your life the way you want it to be. You can help anything you want and be anything you want if you take the knowledge he gave you, believe and receive what you already have in you. All this good in me, I admit, it's real, it's true, it exists in me. I got all this good in me and I have the power to create every area of my life the way I want to be. I'm going to have a brand new body by next year. I'm going to have healthier organs, systems, and life than living, and financial, and fortune. Because I have the power to have what the Father already gave me freely. And you have it too. But I'm telling you something. If you do what I'm telling you, what he showed me, those tumors in your body can't do nothing but obey you. you. Know why? Because this name I showed you, Jesus, is above all names. He's above those tumors in your body. Those tumors going to get up and walk away because Jesus in the scene. You understand? He never leave you, never forsake you. He's always there. He's in your spirit. He lives with you, you see? The one you have to have AIDS, you can heal yourself. AIDS, you can heal yourself. If you got hepatitis, if you got any type of major disease, if you got big lumps and, and big knots on your body, you can heal yourself. Jesus proved that. I saw it happen. And I'm telling you something. If you don't understand this, get with this right here. I can show you. I saw some people not left their body because they follow what I'm telling them. Because it ain't something I made. It's been going on 2,000 years ago and longer than that. But it's up to you if you want to walk around here with AIDS. AIDS can be removed. AIDS can be removed. Any disease can be removed. If you got acid, too much urine acid in your body and your fingers and your toes are cooking it up because all the acid going through your joints and, 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 and messing your joints up, you can heal yourself. You can heal yourself. And this, 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 is, this stuff is real. When you look in this mirror here, all this stuff you see in this mirror is in your spirit. It's real. Jesus proved that. If you're walking around here with henroids and you can't sit down and, 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 you know, and all that, the henroids could be healed too. And I saw it happen because I had henroids and I'm not ashamed to admit it. It's gone. It is gone. And see, my doctor always said, Mr. Williams, out of all the 50-year-old, 53-year-old men come to see me, you're the healthiest one of them all. See, you can control your, you, you know, you can, you can speak to your blood pressure to be normal. And next minute knowing, your doctor going to see, oh, you don't need these pills. They took me all my blood pressure medicine. You see, because you, these words, positive words, when they, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you do these things, they disturb it. Those things like blood pressure and all them disease. And see, that's what you think that word, negative words do. Negative words Reinstruct your body and your organs. Positive words reinstruct your body and organs too. And it, it, stirred, it stirred the chemical balance up. My doctor told me, you healthy, Mr. Williams. You see, this is all about, this program is all about for the ones that want to get off pain pills and get on these real pills and taking these two times or one time or three times a day, the words I'm telling you right now, and you don't need them. Stay tuned with this movie because it's going to get better and better every time something in this that you can use 
and something in this is going to catch your attention. It might don't catch your attention right now, but it's going to catch your attention sooner or later. If you continue to keep on watching, you can heal yourself. <laughs> I tell you, I got to laugh sometimes because I got to laugh sometimes because I, I was blind before, like we were just talking about and dumb and, and I, how, what I went through and everything. But I'm, I'm, I'm amazed now because it's become pleasant to my eyes how I see myself being restored. See, I've been through a lot with my soul and my mind, my thinking, my imagination, my thoughts, my human body, my organs, my systems, and my life and living, and my financial and my fortune in every area. I, in every area, whew, I'm telling you. But see, Jesus telling us, just believe. Just believe. Ye that I am able to do things. Do this. See, I believe that he can do it. I believe he did it 2,000 years ago, and I believe that what he gave made available for me right now. I'm walking in this belief. I'm walking in. I'm giving myself to believe, and, I, and I'm just doing what he said, and it's all showing results. I'm 53 years old. My gold bladder, I still got it. My spine, I ain't had to have major surgery. The tumor is gone. You see? Henroy's gone, you see? My weight, my body is shaping. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm, not over, I'm not obese no more. I'm not overweight no more, you see? My blood pressure and pills, <laughs> you see? I ain't got to take no pain pills no more. I got the real deal, sisters and brothers. But see, it took time. It didn't happen overnight. I went through some nights and days, woe is me and all that, because I was unlearned. Running to the hospital, emergency room. But I thank God when it all came and over, I said, look at this. This stuff real. This stuff works. This stuff true. And it was in me. See, you can't knock it if you don't give it a shot. Some people don't, don't, ain't willing to really go that long to, to, to see the results. Oh, this stuff don't work. But I was patient like a woman that's pregnant and wait for nine long months to hail that baby. Until then, I was pregnant. And sooner or later, when I had birthed that baby, healing and everything, restored and all that stuff started taking in my life and I started saying this stuff is real, it's true. You see? Now, I want to introduce you something. I want to introduce you to Jesus. And he's with you always. And this is all about you can heal yourself and receive Jesus in your life. And let him show what he already made available for you to take and do it and give yourself over to these words. My name is Spirit Man. And I thank God that he gave me the opportunity to do these things in his name. And I come in and I go out in the name of Jesus. Amen.